Hey friends, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I am completing this look using the MAC Artistry Palette in Flame Buoyant. Today's video is a little different than my usual live streams. Right now, this is what I can do with the time I have available since I am a full-time student and my, my classes take up the majority of my time. Anyways, I'm very excited to show you how I created this look. If you haven't already, please like and follow my page, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in seeing how I completed this look, then please keep watching. We're going to begin with a clean face and start by prepping the skin. I start by giving my face a light massage. I'm kidding. The first step I do is to pull back my hair with a hairband. Uh, this one is from Dollar Tree and it was only a dollar but it's one of my favorites because it's super sparkly. Now my first step is I begin by rubbing a small amount of coconut oil between my hands to warm it up and then I apply it on my face. Now I do this as my first step because my face is very dry and once I work it in, I tap it in with my fingers to work it in even further. And once I do that, I whip out my jade roller and I work the oil in even further. Once I'm done with that, I use the Absolute Care Retinol Firming Face Serum and Hyaluronic Acid Eye Serum. And I work both of those in, first with my hands, and then with the jade roller. Next, I'm going to take my dial soap and I'm going to brush up my eyebrows. Now this is to give them the laminated look and I've just started doing this but I really really like how it looks and it makes filling them in a lot easier. So after I brush them up, I'm going to fill them in with a dark brown eyebrow powder. And this one in particular is from an Ulta holiday, um, holiday makeup kit. So once I'm done filling them in, I'm going to clean up my brows with my foundation. Now this is the secret to getting your eyebrows to look extra sharp and clean. This foundation is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I really really like how it works. I'm just um, taking it with a concealer brush. So now I'm taking the MAC Flame Buoyant Palette again. It's one of my favorites and I'm going to begin with the shade Samoa Silk and I'm going to place that directly under the eyebrow to highlight it. Next, I'm picking the shade Data Issues and placing it down as my first transition color. And I'm going to sweep this shade back and forth until I reach my desired opacity. After that, I'm picking up the shade Embark to deepen up the eye socket. And I'm going to pack, pack, pack this color evenly onto the outer lid. Now I'm taking a bigger blending brush and the first color which is Dada Issues and I'm slowly blending out the edges of the dark matte brown. Now I'm taking my Hard Candy Camouflage Glamouflage concealer in, and a flat smudger brush to cut my creases. And then I'm taking that shade La Vida Mocha to begin blending the cut crease. After I place that down, I'm taking the shade Amber Lights and placing it directly next to La Vida Mocha. Now I'm going to take a clean, dense shadow brush with the shade What's the Pointillism and I'm going to place this on the remaining lid space to highlight. Now I'm going to go back in with a blending brush and the shade and bark once again to blend out the outer corner and blend, 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 baby. Ooh. 
Now I'm going to line my eyes with the black pencil liner and then go directly on top of that with that bra dark brown shade which is in bark. Now I'm taking that same shade and smoking out the lower lash line and right after that I'm taking the shade Data Issues to smoke it out even further. Now I'm taking that shimmery shade What's the Pointillism to highlight my inner corner and then I'm curling my lashes and applying my mascara and fake eyelashes and I feel like the fake eyelashes really bring the look together. Now I'm priming my face with the Pop Beauty 24K face base and I'm patting that in and I'm using the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 hour foundation with the e.l.f. HD concealer and I'm setting all of that with the CoverGirl Cover Clean Matte Powder but before I set my under eyes, I make sure and pat out the creases. Now I'm going to contour and bronze the face with a matte shade from a Ulta Holiday Makeup Palette. And I'm using a blush and highlighter from a Too Faced Duo in Berries and Bubblies. Now this is one of my favorite products. I really like the blush and the highlighter. Now I'm going to bake my face with the NYX or NYX. HD setting powder. Now this makes my contour look extra sharp. After that, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX, I'm sorry, not the NYX, the Ulta Rustic Lip Liner. Then I'm going to go directly on top of that with this liquid lipstick I got from Mexico when I was visiting a while back. It was literally 20 pesos and it works really, really well. Um, if you don't know, I am from Chihuahua, the most beautiful state in Mexico. Um, it has many, many different beautiful monuments to go and see. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. Um, after I apply the liquid lipstick, I brush away the powder because the baking is complete. And I'm going to finish off the lips with this Estee Lauder um, li lipstick. Um, lip gloss, I'm sorry, in cherry. And now I'm just fanning my face to dry because I set my face. And I'm gonna stop for a second, fix my hair, and I'm gonna keep fanning away to make sure everything is set in place. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun getting everything together and editing. It's just difficult to find the time to do everything. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and spending time with me. Please make sure if you liked my video to make sure and like and follow my page. If you're on YouTube, make sure and subscribe and like. Um, all of my links will be on my page. Please take care and I hope to see you next time. Bye!